بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد highly respected chairperson of this program حضرت مولانا قاری رشید صاحب اجمیری دامت برکاتهم العالیا شیخ الحدیث آف مدرسہ اشرفیہ راندیر صورت ہائیلی رسپیکٹڈ حاجی اقبال صاحب دریکٹر آف دار العلوم مرکز اسلامی انکلیشور ایبل جج حضرت مولانا سبیل الرحمن صاحب who was one of the judges of this wonderful program. Able teachers of Darul Ulum Markaz Islami and dear students. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace, mercy and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon you. First of all, I would like to thank Darul Ulum Markaz Islami and Kleshwar, especially Director of this Madrasa, Janab Haji Iqbal Sahab, who personally invited me to be a part of this wonderful program. I am very much thankful to him as he reposed full faith in me again. Last year, he had invited me also, and this year also he invited me to be one of the judges of this program. Once again, I am thankful to him. Secondly, I would like to congratulate all the participants of this wonderful program and deliver their excellent speeches. I am really very much impressed with the performance of the students who performed over here in the wonderful gathering. Dear friends, it is very really tough task for the judges to give the marks when the students are performing in the similar fashion. In the same way, their pronunciations, their body language, their style, their content, everything is up to the mark. That's why it is very difficult for the judges to give the marks. But I tried my level best to be fair for the student in giving the marks. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive me if I have committed any mistake in giving the marks to the students who performed over here. Dear friends, <coughs> I am not going to give a very long lecture because it is already 9 o'clock. We are passing 9 o'clock. So, you have been sitting over here for a long time and listening to the speeches delivered by the students and participants. But I would like to say to, say to the students who are in English department of Markaz Islami, and Kleshwar. Dear students, it's a wonderful opportunity for all of you that you are here and learning English language. Now it is not the time to talk about the importance of English language because everyone knows it. Now it is the time to talk about how to acquire this language. So, Alhamdulillah, I am very much satisfied with the performance, performances of the all students. But 
Last year I had suggested that the students should also prepare and should diversify the program. They should not stick to speeches only. And Alhamdulillah this year they presented some charts of grammar. They were showing the grammar in one page. Alhamdulillah they got wonderful rewards also from the listeners and audience. Dear students, I would like to say to you that this program of English language started in the year 2003. And I know very well at that time I was the witness as a teacher over here. And Alhamdulillah, then there were 16 students, they worked very hard day and night and they shaped themselves and they groomed their personalities. And Alhamdulillah, I can say that the students from that batch got selected for several excellent jobs. I can say, and you might be knowing Maulana Ibrahim Shola Puri Sahab, Maulana Khurshi Sahab, Maulana Mufti Abdul Qawi Sahab Qasmi, Maulana Zakiur Rahman Sahab, Maulana Asif Iqbal Sahab. There is a, it is a very big list. They are working in a different field in, a, in different countries. I remember Maulana Khurshi Sahab was talking to me over telephone and he said to me that Maulana Ghulam Muhammad Wustanwi Sahab visited Zambia a couple of years ago. So Maulana Khurshi Sahab, he is the teacher in Moon Race Trust. This trust is located in Zambia. And Maulana Khurshi Sahab is the product of this English department itself. And Alhamdulillah, he has been teaching over there successfully. So Maulana Ghulam Muhammad Wustanwi Sahab traveled to Zambia and he was over there to teach the last hadith of Bukhari. I mean he was in the ceremony of khatm Bukhari. He was to teach the student the last tradition, the last saying, last hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, when he saw Maulana Khurshi Sahib was teaching Bukhari Sharif in English language, he was very much surprised to see that the person he is teaching in English language. So he asked him, where did you learn this language? So Maulana Khurshi Sahib told that I learned this language from Markaz Islami and Klesh for itself. Maulana Ghulam Muhammad Wustanwi Sahib very much surprised and became very happy to know that the person who was teaching Bukhari Sharif in English language learned the language from Markaz Islami and Kleshwar. In the same way, Maulana Hamid Nasir Sahib, he is teaching Bukhari Sharif in Congo. He is also teaching Bukhari Sharif in English language. You can see the opportunities and chances in your life. If you want to become something, then you should try to become a good scholar. You should have a command over the language. Also, you should have command in the teachings of Islam also. So, I would urge you, I would request you that you have got a wonderful opportunity to learn English language in the department of English language of Markaz Islami and Kaleshwar. So, try to grab this opportunity with your both hands. Dear friends, I don't want to take much time with these humble words. I would like to say that the topics you presented over here were very good and very wonderful, but I would suggest you that you should diversify your program. As today, you presented some charts of grammar. In the same way, you should try to present vocabulary, idioms, sayings, words and meanings 
and tenses and all these things you should be included in your program so that the program will be more interesting and more diversified and it will be a true representation of your english department with these words i would like to take my seat assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh